5 o'clock in the morning. And I did have a food to drink. Well, I've actually had like two of these double Jack Daniels and Coke. Sorry, this is my second. Here's the thing, I couldn't really get back to sleep. My body was basically saying, no, stay up. And all I've been doing so far is editing some videos. Plus, I've been looking at these videos for a while. Actually, I haven't. I've just looked at them now. I just watched a few of them. And these were back when I was in America. And, you know, it got me thinking so much because <laughs> the last two, well, the two weeks I had when I was over in America. Okay, fair enough, when I first started, you know, the big journey of the going over there, that when I got to the airport and I thingy bobbed <laughs> yeah, thingy bobbed how that incident with the plane right. Well, okay, let me try that again. Basically saying that the two weeks I had over there were absolutely amazing and <laughs> as I said, okay, fair enough, I did have that incident with the plane which kind of knocked back, knocked a day off, which sucked. <laughs> but, looking over the videos again of what was there, it, it was so amazing and, you know, I have, may have not said this in the past, I may have, I don't know, but I'm saying this now, but I feel so grateful in having, you know, a good friend like Chris who was more well, and as well as that, Irene and Lester, you know, his mum and dad, you know, they were so grateful and so. Uh, I've got more. Basically, they were lovely, lovely people, and they're basically, you know, they were so kind, they helped me when I was over there, you know. If there was things I didn't understand, you know, they basically turned around and said, Oh, it means that and I was like <laughs> Oh but yeah, and Chris as well, you know, when he took me out to Carousel and to all these places and showed me how the system works, that type of thing and how different things are you know, I just felt so after a while I felt so at home in America like that. It was amazing and <laughs> You know, even to this day, you know, I still giggle at the how do you like your eggs? Oh, <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I have two, so oh, these are I'm kind of like, and you're running low on battery, so I need a reason to charge you up anyway. <laughs> but yeah, um, I may have not said this enough, or I may have not said this at all, or I may have said it once, but I totally forgot now when I said this again, but I don't know. Chris, Irene and Lester, you know, I thank you again for having me over that summer and, you know, I can't wait now for this summer and hopefully because, uh, you know, it'll be Chris's turn to come over here for two weeks and I get to show him, you know, what it's like over here and, you know, what stuff, you know, we have over here in the UK that, you know, may be different to than it is over in the US. <laughs> See, this is me ra rambling on now because, yeah. But I know definitely for sure that as of next year, once I've graduated, I definitely am going to be sorting out and moving over to America. And until then, all I can do now is basically take on Chris's advice, and that is to basically keep trucking on with this course and you know just give it all you can really that's the best I can give for this course is me and that's another thing as well because you know sometimes I feel like you know and okay fair enough with some lectures that I did get one or two grades in which kind of it was a pass which was good but it was a very good pass in which I scraped the pass mark and all I'm gonna say is basically now is if they want a hundred and ten percent of me I'll be more than willing to try but at the end of the day basically 
you know, this is the best I can do. <laughs> really is, you know, me. Just coming in, giving it all I got. But yeah, I don't know why I'm talking like that. <clears throat> but yeah, I thought I'd say that. Alright, uh, one o'clock, guys, sorry. <laughs> Had an exciting day so far. My parents came down and brought the. Uh, let's see, one, two, the shirt. Oh, my Screw the Rules shirt! Screw the Rules, I have many shirt, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, white shirt, black trousers, and stuff ready for tomorrow because we're doing our performance tomorrow in Swansea. And I did a bit of a. Well, I suggest this to Alan saying, would you like an ending? For like the three minute bit we're doing with uh, our performance wise. Because we're not doing the whole play, we're just doing a segment of it. And it kind of leaves off to what I think was like a announcer's type voice going, Will this happen next time? Find out! And uh, yeah, I said, yeah, give it a try and stuff. So I've just sent him a file now of the ending. So what I'm going to do is, uh, see what happens in the next couple of days, I'm going to... I'll stick it on my voice acting page and you can tell me then how well it is. It's only like a few seconds long, but still, I think it works quite well. Alright. Now I think I can walk the town now. Sort it out stuff for next year. I just sit down with Dan and he had to show me about the bills and stuff. Because we had a letter today from the water company. And now they have to basically change the accounts over. So now I'm in charge of water bills. So, yay. I'm the water bill man. I need to get folders. Well, a folder so I can stick all the bills in. Thought we'd be more prepared. Coca Cola. Sorry. Now, I just basically came back now from town, checked with the bursary thingy. Nope. I'm not entitled to that. So, I'm gonna sit back, relax, be calm and collective, and then head back up to the thingy. Oh, is that a lion? That's a pepper lion, I see. Oh, oh, if I... Oh. Ah, oh, I think it's because of the... Guess the... What? That's weird! And there goes the lion again. Is this some sort of refraction? I think it's just the sunlight. Yeah, sorry. Uh, ADD kicked in. Line! Uh, <laughs> AD line. Attention deficit. Line! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're off to tonight's tabletop in which we're starting a horror one. Which oh yeah, I have be. CDO. It's just also composite as well, but in the right order. <laughs> I made that, I was the one that told you that you. No, I saw it on the interweb. I found that one too. <laughs> yeah, we're off because tonight's a horror one and it's gonna be awesome and we're gonna have fun and it's gonna be <laughs> And Alan will be in our party this time, not our DM. Hmm. Good old Ollie will be our RDM for tonight. It's his baby. Oh yeah. And oh yeah, my satchel came today. You know, for the hole in the uh, the dies. Uh huh. <laughs> Where is it? It's in the house, but the dies didn't come today. Wait, you got the bag the came, but not the dies. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing to hold the dice arrived, but the thing that the dice is meant to be in. Wait, the, the dies are not there. Not a twig to lit, he was not at all afraid to be killed in nasty ways. Brave, brave, brave Prince Apollo. Thank you. He was not the least bit scared to be mashed into a pulp. What? Or to have his eyes cut out and his elbows broken. Oh. To have his kneecaps split and his body burned away. Brave, brave, brave Prince Apollo. His head smashed in and his heart cut out and his liver removed and his bowels unplugged, his nostrils slipped and his bottom bone plucked and his bum burned off and his penis split. Okay, okay. That's I'm, wrong! That's, uh, <laughs> it's, I think that's quite enough singing for one day, lads. That was wrong. <laughs> yeah, brave, yeah. brave Apollo ran away. No! Brave he ran, ran away, away, away. I didn't! When danger reared his ugly head, he bravely turned his head. No! Right, okay. The least detailed missionary. Alcohol for the missionary. <laughs> the power of Christ compels you to get the round in. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, I DM for tonight. What's up, bitches? Why does it say part water mage? Because you're part angel, part water mage, surely. Because you're not fully just a water mage, are you? Because you're also an angel. Because I'm not human. Yeah. <laughs> 
So this is the guy who nearly died with a, with a several tons of whalebone. Oh, was it? God. <laughs> He's like, the whale is flipping. Let me dig my sword into it and see what happens. Oh, I thought I'm dig going into with it. it. I thought I'd dig into it and just hold on for dear life support. Like being hold the on world's down. grossest bus driver. <laughs> Riding the world's grossest bus. Like, let me hang onto the giant whale I've got to flip on its back and get crushed. <laughs> and we're just standing there like, the f*** bro. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, strength? Yeah. Can we see you in the dark? It's not like the lilla. You whack oh, it right on the shoulder, oh, its arm drops off with a lip. If I burn this, it'll be funny. And drops on the floor. Oh, horror. It looks at its where its oh, arm horror. used to be. Quizzically. Yep. Yeah. You Jamie, you're going. Oh, okay. Hello. Okay, we're finishing off now, and I have to say, Ollie is quite good with this. I have to agree with that. So the fact that, ooh, full moon tonight. Sorry, that was my butt. What I thought you guys might do is you might ignore the zombie problem and just walk on. I just kind of just like leave them there to rot, and I was like, okay, if they do that, then I'm gonna have the zombies follow them. But no, we specifically avoid using the armor system. We I left it with a good cliffhanger so far, which I'm not going to say. You guys, you guys the secrets are still safe. No one knows each other's secrets, but what are these secrets? Will they be revealed in time? Only time will tell. In horror what? But possibly Friday or Saturday, it is fantasy what? You can have, finally have your boat again. Jamie's blog. 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 Jamie's blog.